Global Pop Kids here. Get ready for a Japanese dollar star haul. Right now. Bubble teens, it is Wednesday. I got this cutie little bag on my table right now. Let's see what I found. Get ready, bubble leg. Open it all red. Open it all red. Okay. And here it is. You guys, I found some of the cutest stuff ever. Now, the Japanese dollar store near my house, most of the things are a dollar, but some of them aren't. They have things all the way up to like $20, $30. They have squishies, little remnant blind boxes. So I got a little bit of each. I got some dollar supplies, some little boxes, really, really cute things. Let's dump it. There you go, my table is filled, filled with the cutest things, the kawaii things, everything that I love from stationery. We got a couple of those squishies. This is even a super good brand, Cafe de N or whatever that is. I've seen them before. Look at that, it's like a little chocolate cheesecake. I got a little squishy ball, some school supplies. Check them out. Bubble, you even got a box of like popcorn. You got some popcorn, crazy. I got so many goodies. I guess the best way to take a look at them is to break them into little categories. So this category is the biggest. I had the most funds here. We got some school supplies, some stationery, <laughs> cutest things ever. Found a cute little Hello Kitty pencil case. This is the most adorable thing. A little popcorn, like a notebook memo pad. That is so adorable. Kind of looks like Shopkins. Tons of erasers. Let's look at them one at a time and take a closer look. Let's do that. What is our shoe? That's crazy. And it looks like we are starting with the popcorn stationery. Now, this was a dollar. It's one of the few things that actually was a dollar. And I just thought it was so, so cute. They also had french fries and something else I can't remember. But I thought this was the cutest. Now, look at this. Look at that. Oh, that is going to look ridiculously cute on your desk. Like, you know it. Look at that. Looks yummy. I popped it out of the box. Look at this. I have never seen anything like this stationary wise. And just for a buck, I mean, I can't even believe it. So here is like this cardboard box. It's a little thicker than a cardboard. It's like a little stand. Keep it on your desk, maybe your locker at school. And you get this little notebook. Oh, it's too, too cute. I thought it came with a pen because I saw this person writing, but you can pop your own pen in there. Let's see. Now I kind of get it why they gave us a little box to store it in. I thought it was like a memo pad, like a notebook. It's actually not. It's just like individual pages, which is kind of cool. You usually don't see that. Look at those little popcorns. It's in like a little stripey bag. Nope, it doesn't smell. I thought maybe it was scented just because it says sweet butter flavor. But it's not, and I just love it. One of the cutest things I think I've ever seen at any dollar store. Really cute. Oh, literally the best stationary invention ever. Popcorn. Move it along. So next up, I went to this little Hello Kitty section. They didn't have too many like Sanrio products or Hello Kitty, but I did find a couple. I found this little pencil pouch or like stationary case. It was a dollar. And it's pretty simple, but it's super cute. It's got that classic red color. And you could just put anything in here. You could put your lip balms, little makeup, or just all your school supplies. Really nice. And I found a stamper. I think it's like a stamper. I gotta check this thing out. It was also a dollar. I don't know what it is. It says a stamp cap. It's so cute though. It kind of looks like a lip balm or a lipstick. Let me see. Ooh. Everybody, I think I was a little confused about this one. So it's not a stamper. It's called a stamp cap. I guess if you have like a little stamper, I've never seen one like that. I guess you can put it on there and close it off. Kind of cute, kind of squish, but I just don't know what it is. But I like it. At least it's Hello Kitty. It's cute. Uh, why'd you get a stamp cap when we don't have a stamp? What's going on? Next up in the stationery category, I found these. Now you guys, when I put these in my basket, I thought they were candies, like little gummies, because that's exactly what it looks like. But when I got home, I realized they are these little scented erasers. They are cola scented or soda scented. Oh, let's check these little soda erasers out. I think the Japanese call them awashiwa. Show it. Here's the first one. I don't know if these are scented. Here's the first little package. These just look so much like gummy candies. I can't even believe it. I wonder how they're gonna smell. Ooh, 
So, so cute. Oh, it's like the little guy there. It's like a little soda fizzier, like a soda clown. There they are. There's a few of them. Oh, this smells like grape or like blueberry Fanta. It smells like soda, for real. I think I found my favorite thing so far. Oh, you guys, these smell so, so good. They are so, so strong. The second you pop them out of the package, it doesn't, it kind of smells like soda. It kind of smells like candy, but there is like no scent of rubber or eraser. Mm, it smells so good. Basically, Bubble, these smell like little blueberry fruit sodas. They're divine. For this little brown package, I'm sure this is probably gonna smell like Dr. Pepper or some kind of a Coke, just with that brown color. These were too good, I can't believe. Here goes. Here goes. It's a second scented package and I love it. Look at them, they're orange. I thought they would be brown and they kind of smell, I don't know, like a Dr. Pepper or like a Diet Coke. Kind of a strange and funky smell going on, but I like this one a little bit more. So those were the Awashuya scented erasers. Never seen anything like this. I gotta go back, see if there's other flavors, different kinds. Love these. Bubble. Who wouldn't love these? They're dorms. Oh yeah, the stationery keeps rolling through. Now the final three little stationery paper products I found were these three here. I got some more erasers. They actually had Iwakos. Now these were not a dollar. I think they were like three or four dollars. But look how cute. They're like these little Japanese soda bottles or juice bottles, little snacks. I think it's like a bag of chips. So adorable. I found these little twin stars. I think, I'm not 100% sure. I think it's one of those little um, whiteouts, like those little corrector pens. That was a dollar. And I got this little Doraemon coloring book. It's too, too precious. Look at this thing. Let's open this one first. These little twin stars. I'm guessing this is like a whiteout pen. So, so cute. I mean, so adorable. Look at that. Yep, and it's exactly what I thought. It's got this little capper. You just pop it right off. And when you're at school, you make a little mistake. You just kind of roll it. You could see that little white line. And it's like a dry, almost like a whiteout sticker. Love that. Next, we got a little Iwako, these puzzle erasers. And I think the whole theme of this is the 24 hour mart. In Japan, my friend told me there's like a billion 7-Elevens. They're in every single corner. And I think they're like little 7-Eleven snacks. Let's see. <laughs> I'm melting, I am melting. I love stationery, I love collecting it. And these are just the cutest little, just little puzzle erasers. I don't think I've ever seen cuter ones. So basically you get one, two, three, four. They look like different kinds of like drinks, like vending machine drinks. This one here. It's like a little water bottle. Bottle? Uh, I don't think it's water. It says moo, cheery, purry purry, with a little baby. I think it's like baby milk or something. So cute. This orange juice, oh, so crazy. Look at that, and I don't know what part is like a puzzle. Oh, I think the top pops off. Not too complicated. This one, at first I thought it was like a little drink, and I see this octopus. I think it's like a can of Pringles, like flavored potato chips. That's what it looks like. Bubba, Bubba, I don't get it. Why is the octopus like building a fire? What's going on? That's potato chips? This little can right here. Oh, this is so, so tiny. It almost looks like little Barbie doll accessories. Sinalees. Super flavor. I don't know. Some kind of like a soft drink in a can. And all the little tops pop off. So, so detailed. This over here, I thought it was like a tub of ice cream, but I think it's like little mochi cakes. It looks like a chocolate mochi. Ooh. Uh, I don't think it's mochi. When you open it, it's got like little ramen noodles. I think it's soup. That is amazing. Too amazing. Over here, it looks like a bag of chips. Look at that. It looks like some kind of a vegetable, maybe like veggie chips. I don't think this one is an eraser, but it's so adorable. And I never use these Awakos. I just collect them. I have a big, big box. And we get some. <laughs> Looks like butter, like yogurt. New butter. Look at the picture. It's got a shrimp. I think it's like a shrimp flavored ramen noodle or something. Looks so yummy. Looks like spaghetti. 
is another quickie look at these. I just cannot get over them. Probably the cutest Owakos I've ever seen. They're so realistic. We get little drink bottles, little foods, little soups. I love them. And your final thing from that stationery department, we got this little Doraemon little coloring book or activity book. I think this was like 50 cents. It wasn't even a dollar. And if you're not familiar with this guy, super, super popular in Japan. It's like a little cartoon. Tons of little pages to color. Really, really cute. Next up, we get some squishies and some little keychains. So these are like the cutest little finds. I mean, oh, look at this. This is, I don't know, it looks like a bear or a puppy paw. Can't really read what it says, but I think this was three or four dollars and it's so, so squish. Oh, it's so cool. The outer part of it is plastic, like a hard plastic, but the inside, it's like a slow resin squishy. Look at that. It's a bear paw, it's just like too squish. It's too squish for words. I could use this all day. Look at that. Look at that. Unbelievable. And that's the first one. You could use it as like a keychain or a cell phone charm. Oh, it's just so, so squeezy. I love it. Next one is not a squishy. It's a keychain, but I mean, look at this thing. I think it was like $2. It looks like either some spaghetti with some meat on it or maybe some ramen noodle. It just, it looks real. I think it is real. I think it's just like dried up spaghetti or something with a little bit of beef and string bean. I love this keychain because it's actually not little. It's really big. It's like a good size. And I don't know where I would hang this. I think I would just put it in my collection. But it's so, so cute. It's got all those noodles. It's got the sauce. It just looks like real, real food. It's almost like a doll food or something like a dollhouse food. Really, really cute. Another charm I found, and I am obsessed with these. This is probably like the second or third one I found at that dollar store. It's a little bit squishy, but not too much. It is a slice of pie, like a fruit pie. Just look at that. I could look at it all day, all those little details. It's got that whipple cream on there, which is a little bit squishy. A little banana kiwi. It just looks delish. I love that. I think I'm gonna hang this for my cell phone. It's just gonna make me hungry the whole day. Oh, love that. And here it is. The actual only real squishy I found, a super good one, slow rasin, is this chocolate cheesecake. And I saw this. I grabbed it right away. This was the only one they had in the whole store. Take a look. I wonder if it's scented. Oh, this better be scented. I'm telling you right now. Better smell like chocolate. Oh, yeah. Double teens, if you were looking to find a squishy in this video, well, here it is. It's such a good one. We get this Cafe de N or whatever that is. I'm not too sure how to pronounce that. Squishy chocolate cheesecake. Oh, it smells good. It smells chocolatey and it is so, so soft. Oh, I love this thing. Mama, look at this cheesecake. It's got a chocolate graham cracker crust. Look at that. Now that I'm thinking about it, this was probably one of the most expensive things I got. I think it was like eight or nine dollars, but just so, so worth it. And I'm not shopping this baby. I can't. It's so, so cute. Slow rasin. Oh, yeah, slow rasin. For sure. Here's another look at those, those little keychains, the little cell phone charms, and squish it. I think this is my fave. My second fave is probably this little spaghetti plate. Moving on to my next cutie little find, and I loved it. Look at this, you guys. It's like a little re-mint box, like a Japanese blind box. Gudetama. He's in the toaster. So, so cool. Oh, this is crazy. We got Gudetami in the toaster, ready to go into the boiling pan in a jar of lemonade. So weird. Unfortunately, I cannot read anything on here. I don't know exactly what it says, but it is so, so cute. It looks like Gudetani is in all different kinds of foods. I want the toaster one. Let's see. 
then I got all these little pieces and looking at the box, I didn't get the toaster. I got this one right here. Ramen. It's like three little Gudetani eggs going into that ramen little pot of noodles. It's a cute one. Look at this. Like little triplets. Just pop them out of here and take a closer look. out of the package and all together we get one two three four five little pieces and now that I'm looking at it it's like a little puzzle we gotta snap them together and it's kind of weird we got a little piece of gum it looks like a chiclet or something kind of cute pop them together uh, first we get the fire the flames next up we get the cooking pot pop it in there ramen noodle with a little rocky or something Pop on the cutting board. So this is what it's looking like so far guys. We got this little flame, we got the pot, the noodles, little cutting board, and the final piece. Our little Gudetani triplets. Look at those little egg yolks. They look like they are scared to go into that boiling noodles. Really cute. I gotta get more of these. They are so amazing. So detailed. A little too detailed, if you ask me. They look super scared. Oh, and we're just whizzing by. I still have about three things left to show you. Now, this is Hello Kitty, but it was in the beauty section. We got some little Hello Kitty wipies. These are like little makeup removers. And not only are the package so, so cute, it's got like this little piece on here. Check it out. These are not baby wipes. They are cleaning wipes for your hands. They are beautiful. Prettiest pack of cleaning wipes I've ever seen. I've never seen them. So adorable. And it does have this little piece. Hmm. Oh, I get it. I get it. Pop it right on there. Oopsie. Made a little mistake, you guys. How cute is this? It's got like a little like a double stick tape. You just remove that and you place it right over this hole so these little wipes don't dry. I've never seen that before, look at that. Yeah, pop them out. Mmm, smells like perfume and you close them. I love that. Bubble babes, we are on to our final two little things. Now this one here is actually not a Japanese product. I've seen these in other stores, I never bought one but they actually have it there for a buck. We got an Alien Force Splat Ball. Glows in the dark. And besides that, I found this for like 30 cents. I don't know what it is, you guys. It was in the candy section. Maybe it's like a licorice, but it had the cutest little package on it. Let's try it. Oh, this is literally the weirdest looking candy I've ever seen. Ugh. I'm wondering what it is since I got it. Ooh. What is that? It looks like a bubble gum. Smells weird. Ugh. Ew, it is horrible. Normally I love the Japanese candies. They are so good. This, I can't even tell what it is. It kind of tastes like a bubble gum. It's got like a weird kind of like a minty kind of spicy flavor. I don't like it. Ugh. Get it away. Oh, take that away. It's gross. Oh, I had to drink water, get that taste out of my mouth. And the final thing we have is the Alien Sticky Stretchy Ball. Now this thing has such a cool feel to it. Oh, I gotta see. Ooh. Oh, and it glows for sure. Look at that thing. Look at that alien. Ugh. This little splatty ball. Ooh, it does glow. I don't think I've ever had a glow in the dark one. Oh, so squishy. It's the alien splat ball. Ooh, I love it. It's kind of weird because it glows green, but it's blue. Kind of strange. Good one. 
There you go guys, another Japanese dollar store haul. I loved it, so many amazing finds. And they have so many cuter things than just like going into a regular Dollar Tree. I mean, I love the Dollar Tree, but they just have a lot of different erasers, little squishies. And if I had to pick a fave, my two faves were these little Iwakos, these little bottles, adorbs. And I like this chocolate cheesecake. Squishy, I loved it. it smells so good. Love it for your little bubble teens to so leave me a comment. Let me know out of all these things. What was your fave? The little splat ball or the little stationaries? And we are gonna have so many more fun videos coming up on the show. And if you want to subscribe to our channel, just click this big yellow bubble with the bubblegum machine and subscribe. Have a great day, you guys. Bye!